Hello everybody, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music. So a while back I made a video and I compared the Hal Leonard method to the Mel Bay guitar method. And this video has been very popular on my YouTube channel. I've gotten a lot of comments, a lot of feedback, and we're kind of at a point in my channel, if you're not familiar with what I do, uh, but I teach guitar lessons with both of these methods. And I walk through page by page and I give a lesson for every single page. And um, you know, I'm excited to say that I've actually finished all of book one for Hal Leonard and all of book one for Mel Bay. So if you're interested in taking guitar lessons from either of those methods, get yourself a book and follow the series. The links are in the description below for those playlists. Um, but I'm also doing lessons in the follow on books for both of those series, book two uh, for Hal Leonard and grade two for Mel Bay. And those lessons are available on my YouTube membership. So if you're getting toward the end of book one and thinking about starting into book two, consider becoming a member of my uh, YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. You can gain access to those. Those lessons are also available on Patreon. So if you wanna access it in that way, there are also some additional perks if you become a patron uh, today. So again, all those links are in the description. You can check those out. Today I wanted to compare specifically uh, book two of Hal Leonard to grade two of Mel Bay, right? So we've talked about kind of the difference in the series in general and specifically in book one, but let's talk about book two, right? What is the next level that each of these series take you to and kind of what are the differences and, and you know, which direction might be right for you, all right? Now, as always, you know, in general, when I'm talking to starting out guitar players, one of my things that I really look for in people who are using these methods is how much experience do you have reading music prior to taking these guitar lessons, right? If you've never read music at all, ever in your whole life, you've never taken a piano lesson, you've never been in middle school band or high school band, you know, you have no ex background experience, I tend to gear and gravitate toward the Hal Leonard method. It starts out a little more slowly in the beginning stages that's really helpful for people who haven't had that prior experience reading music and can be a little bit easier for them to grasp and, and get started with. Now that being said, I've had students that have started straight out of the gate with, with Mel Bay and have done fine too, but it does move a little more, more quickly so you have to kind of be prepared for that. Now uh, the other th big factor in the difference between these series is kind of the direction musically uh, that these things take. Now, the Mel Bay method is a seven series method, right? It is a long haul, right? And it is going to teach you so many basics. If you can make it all the way through book seven of Mel Bay, you are going to be really playing guitar. Now, the end game for that series, in my opinion, is really steering you kind of in the direction of being um, being able to take your guitar player playing either in the realm of jazz playing or maybe even like flat picking style playing, right? It's, it's very much focused on the plectrum technique, so you're gonna be doing everything with a pick. And, um, but very quickly, even here in book two, you're starting to move way up the neck, right? So we in book one of Mel Bay, we started dealing with second position a little bit and a little bit more, a little bit more, and you're gonna carry that on in here, but you're also gonna be starting doing exercises where you're playing thirds all the way up and down the neck, right? So it's introducing you with to that ability of just really becoming familiar with the fretboard. And by the end of the Mel Bay series, you can expect to really know the fretboard all the way up and down, being able to look at music and being able to read it in any position and playing up and down the neck. That's really amazing, but it's also a long commitment, right? So just keep that in mind. It is not a fast process, but the foundation that you get through this series is just absolutely incredible. And can, like I said, it kind of steers you in a certain direction, but those foundations can be applied anywhere. Now, the Hal Leonard method, as far as you know, the direction that the book takes you is a little bit different. I, I feel like the, the Hal Leonard method is really focusing in on your kind of standard 
you know, image that a lot of people have when they're wanting to learn to play guitar. And what is that, right? So um, usually when I have new students, you know, the kind of the goal that they have in mind is like, I just want to be able to pick this thing up, strum some chords, play some little melodies, maybe sing some songs and and go along my way and be able to just kind of be a functioning guitar player in that way. I think the Hal Leonard method is really focused on that. So here in book two, you're going to be continuing what you did a lot in book one, which is you're going to do a lot of more songs where you get to sing and play at the same time, which is great. If you're interested in doing that, this is the book. There's no singing in the Mel Bay method, right? It's all here in Hal Leonard. So there's a lot of great songs in here, you know, songs that people know. Uh, House of the Rising Sun, uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, uh, La Bamba, you know, there's some Christmas songs in there, all kinds of stuff. So you keep that thing going, but it's also the thing that I like about book two here in the Hal Leonard is that it's it's very riff based. So it's going to teach you a lot of different riffs, things that you've heard before. Be like, oh, wow, cool, that's the riff to you know Louie Louie, or that's the you know riff to whatever. Like, there's a lot of cool uh, riffs in there, and to just kind of help build your vocabulary as a guitar player. Um, it does kind of enter you into the realm of playing in second position, but it doesn't go up the neck any further than that in this book, right? So keep that in mind. You're going to kind of be playing mostly down first, second position area. Um, it is going to teach you some new chords. It's going to teach you some new rhythms, some dotted rhythms, um, things like that. So, you know, again, the kind of the theme that happens between these two books is that the Mel Bay method is going to move faster. It's going to be a little bit more complicated, uh, but it's going to really introduce you to to really foundational material that's going to help you in the long run. If your if your end goal is like down the road, like just really becoming proficient at guitar, knowing the neck all the way up and down, being able to apply in any in any style of playing, this is a great option. Um, but again it's a longer commitment. It's a little bit more challenging. This book is great for just being able to learn guitar in a functional manner that, uh, you know, maybe you're not going to learn all the way up and down the neck, but you're going to learn some chords. You're going to learn how to play. You're going to learn how to strum. You're going to learn how to read notes in first and second position. You're going to be able to, to continue to do that and, and develop your proficiency as a guitar player. This method is also good. I love both of these. I use both of these all the time. I talk about them. I use them with uh, different students. I have some students using both of them. They're good cross-reference going back and forth, providing you kind of a different approach, different angle at playing. Both fantastic. There's links to both of these books down in the description below, as well as links to my YouTube membership, my Patreon, if you want to uh, we'll start working through and learning guitar lessons with either of these books. You know, check those links out below, and I'd love to see you over there. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope you all have a good one. Thanks.